basically, you know, call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever. But basically, that was really, really critical to getting the thing to pass. Well, basically, Obamacare architect Jonathan Gruber's comments that American stupidity got the law passed, likely not the only thing that going to offend you this morning when it comes to the so-called Affordable Care Act. This week, tomorrow, actually marks the first day of the 2015 open enrollment. And Dr. Mark Siegel, thankfully, of the Fox Medical A team, is here with us to break it down. Okay, Good so morning. welcome back. I'm a dummy. Tell me what is coming because I, I clearly don't care, an American voter, and I don't know what's going on. Well, just so Professor Gruber doesn't call us all stupid again, I yeah. thought I would tell everyone what's coming up in 2015. I call Obamacare a cancer on the health care system because it's infiltrating normal, healthy health care tissue. How? Well, the first thing is the individual mandate is more than tripling. In other words, if the penalty you get, Elizabeth, for not having insurance goes from 95 to $325 per person or 2% of your income, whichever is more. And you know what? For people that don't make a lot of money, that is a lot of money. Three twenty-five dollars per person. Of course. Per I mean, that, that's a penalty. That's a huge, huge penalty. Huge, or 2% of their income. So if you're struggling to make it out there in the Midwest somewhere, or here in New York, anywhere, you've got a huge, huge burden. And you're going to be paying the 2014 penalty right up front in 2015. You won't get that refund. This will cut into it. My, oh, my. So what's happening to that lowest entry level plan? Plan now. What changes are we going to see happening there? Well, if, that, if, if Dr. Gruber wants you to think your premiums aren't rising, let me tell you something. The bronze plan up on average 7% in many states. The silver plan, low cost silver plan at the exchanges, 9%. And for those of you young people who want that catastrophic plan, thinking, oh, I'm not going to have to pay for older sick people who are very, very sick, let me tell you something. That's up on average. 18 percent. 18 percent. 18 percent. So you're just getting out of college. You haven't made your way yet. Guess what? You're paying a fortune so that this Obamacare can struggle along and try to cover people who have very, very bad chronic conditions. My goodness. I mean, if there are so many people who actually would opt for that catastrophic insurance. If it were cheap. If level, it were cheap. Absolutely. Not, not expensive, though. Not anymore. And those increases are so substantial, doctor. What about the employer mandate? What are we looking at? Well, there? that's finally kicking in, Elizabeth. That's been delayed a year. But now if a company has more than 100 employees, guess what? They're going to get hit for 70 percent of those employees, two to three thousand dollars per employee. So if you're a huge employer, you know what you're going to do? In 2015, yeah. get rid of your full-time employees and add a ton of part-time employees so you don't have to pay for that and you don't have to pay the penalty. That's what I predict and many economists predict are going to happen. This okay. is why I call it a cancer. Can you imagine if you work for McDonald's or Burger King, some really large employer may say, wait a minute, I don't want to pay the penalty, I want part-time employees. Well, I can guarantee there's a bunch of heart rates just increased across the nation hearing all of that. Dr. Let me treat Mark you and Siegel. tell you let's get rid of Obamacare. Okay, Dr. Mark, always to great you. to see you here. Thanks for that.